Hi, Robert. Hey, Julia. I thought I would find you in the library with your nose deep into journals, and here you are. So what had you been reading all this while? I was just going through our orders and could not help but notice that many of the orders are for assignments on the effects of greenhouse gases. Students seem to have a problem trying to figure out the advantages and disadvantages of this environmental phenomenon. One student has rightly defined greenhouse effect as the rise in the temperature of the earth, owing to the sun's heat being trapped by different gases in the atmosphere. Mainly carbon dioxide, CFCs, methane and other gases, collectively called greenhouse gases, are responsible for trapping heat. The rise in temperature of Earth, due to this effect is called global warming. Quite an exclusive take, right? As for you, what you think are the relevant pros and cons of this global warming? I would like to focus on the disadvantages because recently I have found some interesting facts about it. One of them is the recent research is that I read. What was the research about? The research was about how aerosols cooled the Earth at double rate then, have been estimated earlier. So if that is true, then there is only one conclusion to this, the problem of the greenhouse effect and global warming is way more severe than it actually is thought to be. So what do you think about this, Julia? Now, Robert, I would beg to differ. I am sure that you are aware of how greenhouse gases make Earth habitable. Help me understand a bit more, Julia. Greenhouse gases do not let all the heat of the infrared rays from sun leave the Earth. They redirect a healthy portion of the rays back to the planet and keep the Earth warm and protect us from freezing. Yes, I sure know how the gases once let forms of life thrive. But that was the scenario a century back. Now the picture is entirely different. How do you say so? According to research, even half a degree rise in the temperature matters a lot to most forms of life from the planet. Can't believe? Well then you must read a report from World Resources Institute 2018. Let me explain to you. With a rapid increase in the amount of greenhouse gases, life on Earth is anything but thriving. The gases are causing a gradual rise in the Earth's temperature, which is resulting in drying of trees and declining life forms owing to drying habitat. Chances of massive floods by melting of ice is just a matter of time. Can you imagine what will happen to polar bears, seals and penguins if all the polar caps melt? Well, do you have any idea what the Earth could have been like in the absence of the greenhouse effect? What do you think of the same? Without the greenhouse gases, the temperature of the planet would be as that of the moon. Do you know that on the moon, the temperature can reach an intolerable 134 degrees Celsius during the day and could hit a low of minus 153 degrees Celsius at night? Robert, just imagine how similar temperature swings on Earth can destroy habitats for all the living beings. Well, what you are saying is right. But what about the rise in temperatures due to an increased level of carbon dioxide in the environment? So how is rise in greenhouse linked to increasing temperature? Throw some light. With ozone in the atmosphere getting depleted, the majority of the sun rays can reach the Earth. The heat of the rays are trapped by a heavy concentration of carbon dioxide in the air, thereby raising the temperature of the Earth. Is it affecting our plants? Yes, it is disrupting the photosynthesis or food-making process of plants. I hear you, but I am afraid that I cannot agree on that one, Robert. And I am sure you two are going to look at greenhouse gases from a different perspective, soon. How so? These gases help block the harmful solar radiation from reaching planet's surface. These gases work like a filter and bounce back the unwanted and damaging energy into space. Even in its presence, do you actually think that life is any safer? Emission